What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be discussing the two reasons why you can't axle stall on mini ramp. So this trick could be really difficult to learn when you're first learning it, but once you get it down, it kind of opens up you know, the rest of mini ramp skating to you. Like a whole bunch of tricks become much easier when you get this concept down. Okay, so reason number one is fear of the coping. There's a few different ways you can have fear of the coping. First one is when you come up to lock into a 50-50, you tend to stay inside of the ramp, right? And that's just a, a combination of being used to doing kick turns and maybe a slash grind. You just kind of plop your front wheel down and you're stuck in that habit. But a lot of it does have to do with the subconscious because you probably know you need to get on top of the coping, but you know something about the fear or worrying about falling keeps you inside of the ramp. Another way I see people fear the coping is when they're coming up to do an axle stall and stand up on the coping, they go at a wider angle and almost try to 50-50 grind. And to me, when you're trying to axle stall, you need to go perfectly straight, maybe even almost like a hair the opposite way, right? But you don't wanna go at an angle because you lose your, your speed and power going straight up, right? So the fear kind of makes you go to the side and like puts you sideways, right? So it's, it's almost like you're uh, subconsciously running away from trying the trick. Okay, and another type of fear is coming back in. A good way to get around this fear is to practice on a smaller ramp, just putting your board in place and then dropping in. So something I'd recommend doing when you're practicing dropping in like this is to shimmy your truck over and just get this wheel on the edge, right? Because you don't want to practice locking in like this. It's just not a great way to do the trick. It leaves more room for hanging up. Now when you go to turn in from this trick, the main thing I think that will make you fall is that fear. But the lack of confidence is what makes you slip out. Because ultimately, this is just a kick turn, right? And as long as you lean forward, you've probably done this motion many times, practicing the kick turn or the drop in. So if you're gonna try this, just make sure you lean forward and stick it as hard as you can. Okay, and reason number two is standing on top of the coping. Okay, so once you've acknowledged that fear of like really wanting to try it and knowing that you need to get on top of the coping, next thing to focus on is the technique. So when I'm coming up for the axle stall, I like to come perfectly straight up to the coping. Now, the second I get to the coping, I put pressure on my heel, right? And that's what really locks in the wheel and helps you get on top of the coping. Something else to focus on while you're doing this is your shoulders, right? Because you don't want to be leaning into the ramp. It's weird because you're coming from inside the transition, so your shoulders are just naturally leaning in the ramp. But the trick is to stand up straight when you get on the coping. So you gotta think about that you're pausing, right? So another way to do this is to practice launching out the like backside a little bit, and that can help you get into the rhythm of standing on the coping. But really, you just gotta focus on getting those shoulders and standing straight up. Okay guys, hope this video is helpful for you. And just remember, it can be very difficult to learn this at first, you know? So just stick with it, know that you're gonna learn it. And once you do, it's gonna open up a whole new world of tricks for you. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.